Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to this very first tutorial on scriptology. My name is Soyber and today I will take you through the very basics of the epical world of RGSS2, the scripting language of RPG Maker VX. Now, I have to tell you a secret and that's actually not to offend a lot of you but using scripts sometimes makes me sad because um, I see a, I actually see a lot of those lists in the uh, game forums or RPG Maker VX uh, making game forums and uh, they'll just have a long, very long list of uh, the scripts they're gonna use in their project and actually makes me a bit sad because using scripts doesn't necessarily need to make your game awesome um, what it makes stand out is more the graphics, the um, story and gameplay. Now of course scripts can add up to gameplay though if they are used wisely but not every game needs a Tanakai battle system or a uh, on-map battle system or a HUD or whatever it's called. Not every game needs scripts to be good. So that's actually one very important thing. So if you're here to learn how to make your awesome scripts, that's totally fine. But if you're here to just learn how to make a lot of scripts and then use them all together that's not right well it can be right if you proportion it correctly don't use too much scripts but focus on the story the graphics that kind alright so that's it let's get into it alright so I've um, copied a um, script of myself which I didn't release actually um, I copied it to my clipboard and that's necessarily it's necessary if you want to add a script to our project so that's actually what we're going to do today so um, first of all I'm going to open the script editor window by clicking on this button next to the sound test and the resource manager up here the third icon of the right of this bar here click it and you'll get this script editor window now you'll see on this left side all names of default scripts you can scroll through it and in the right side here you'll see that it changes through uh, to different scripts so these are actually all default scripts and the name here will actually say what it does what it is so that's actually a, a good thing to remember make sure you name your scripts right uh, so it actually tells us what it does so for example this window underscore message is actually just the script which will provide the graphics for any text window in the game same goes for scene uh, scene item for example it's uh, it'll uh, use this uh, particular script to um, make the item menu work. Alright, so we want to add our own script just go onto the tab materials and insert here you'll find some information what we'll do is just right click here and press insert to create a new tab here and then I'm going in here click in here so you'll see this uh, flickering uh, bar here and I'm going right click and paste it and I'll get my script I copied which is title plus version 1 so it's actually not a real good name but um, it'll do actually it's kinda catchy so I'll just use that alright so title plus version 1.0 so what this script does actually it's adding a option to the title menu and it will just do something you want so in my case I actually over in the in the default default phase it's actually just um, 
printing a line out which is this paste your code in the script first to let this option work so that's actually a code which will just pop up an alert box box with this text in it so I can I, I will just quickly show you um, so as you can see we got this uh, fourth option in here which is called new option and when I'm going over it and press enter you'll get this uh, pop-up here with this text in there so I'm going to shut it down now and go back in the script and it there there we go and as you can see I have made this module here which most scripts have is where you can customize your uh, or specific options um, what a model does or what it is actually I will come up in a, in a, a later tutorial but for now you'll just know um, that's that's actually most of the places where you can find a um, or the options to change so it it'll fit your project alright so that's actually what I wanted to tell you guys um, you know how to import a script uh, download it from a site or um, or one that you made yourself of course you can also just like here go insert and create your new script here so um, my new script will come here that's just something that um, you can do as well so you don't have to right click paste it or make it in some text editor because that's actually not really smart because as you can, could, can see in here um, we've got some different color codes like blue is a special color and as well as purple which is for strings and um, numbers are actually like dark red that kind of stuff alright so that's uh, something I will teach you in the upcoming our next um, tutorials for now all you have to know is that um, how to import this so right click here insert a new tab click here and paste it and you'll get this totally new script here make sure you name it right and you're done and then it'll work make sure you have um, have it good alright so uh, that's it for now if you want to contact me you can mail me at soyabert at gmail.com as said on the screen um, I'm really into um, I really like it when I get some comments uh, tips and perhaps some things you guys want to learn and um, I hope um, you'll stick with me because I know it's been a long time and I really want to apologize but um, I have so many things up my sleeves lately um, that I just didn't have time to make this and I know it's like two years or at least one that uh, I come up with this idea but I'm so lucky that I finally managed to do it so um, I want to thank everyone um, who support me and um, I hope uh, you guys keep supporting me and give me feedback information and uh, tips and things you want to know and you can leave in a comment or mail me at the given address and um, I'll hope to see you next time uh, my name is Cybert and thanks for listening and watching